Yes. Okay. <coughs> dear Father Biju, and all of you are dear friends from different parts of the country, and uh, Margaret from Germany, and one or two others who will be joining us, I believe, in a few minutes from now. Thank you for being with us here this evening for this uh, simple function to inaugurate and launch our All India Toll Free Helpline. We have in mind primarily our brothers and sisters who are migrant workers, but any other vulnerable or needy group can also contact us through this number. And we'll do the best we can to reach out with whatever support we are able to offer or to coordinate and organize. This is a dream that uh, we have carried in our heart from the time we began our work with migrant workers. And it is beginning to be a reality today. So we are very grateful to God and to every one of our colleagues and collaborators for this. The times we are living through are extraordinarily challenging and tragic for large numbers of our brothers and sisters, especially in our country, and among them especially for the poorer folk. We hope to reach out to at least some through this service, and that is the reason we are happy to be able to start the service at this particular point of time. The day, the 1st of May, is of special significance to us. We would like to dedicate this service to all our working brothers and sisters, particularly the more needy and the vulnerable. And we would like to place this initiative under the patronage of patronage and protection of St. Joseph. May he bless us all and may he lead us on. I'd like now to invite Father Ratna Neelam, Director of Don Bosco Navajivan Vijayawada, who has been the man behind getting this helpline set up at very short notice, to briefly share with us the technical aspects of this helpline. Father Ratna, please. Good evening, dear Father Biju, the counselor. <clears throat> he was my professor as well. Fathers, brothers, friends, and benefactors. Don Bosco Forum for Migrants is very happy to inaugurate and launch the helpline for the migrants on this feast day of St. Joseph the Worker. And as the church marks the year of St. Joseph, there is no other way to honor St. Joseph than to dedicate our service for the migrants. As we turn the pages of the Holy Bible, we know that St. Joseph and his family migrated to Egypt. Now let me explain few technical details about the helpline number. <coughs> this number is a number that anybody from anywhere in India can call. Secondly, this number is a IVR based, which means interactive voice response based. The calls are recorded, monitored, and they can be traced. Thirdly, as soon as one calls the helpline number, after the welcome message, the caller has the option for language choice. For example, press one for Hindi, two for Telugu, three for Tamil, etc. When they press that particular number, the call is automatically directed to that language desk or region. At the moment, we have 15 channels, which means 15 calls can be simultaneously handled at single time. We are launching the number today, but it will be available to the public from Monday. Migrants are vulnerable and let this initiative make them valuable. As I conclude, I thank Father Tony, Father Bosco, and Father Aquinas, who have supported to make this helpline initiative a lifeline reality for the migrants. Let the Salesian flag 
fly high thank you ratna for explaining to us how the line works and more importantly for having done all the background work he contacted every possible uh, uh, phone provider and finally we have chosen uh, Vodafone Idea Group because they seem to be offering us the best services. May I now invite Father Biju Michael, Regional Councillor of the Salesians for South Asia Region, to share with us his message. Invoke God's blessings on the service we are launching today and inaugurate it. Father Biju, please. Dear Father Tony, dear conferees, and dear friends of youth at risk. In these days, we are living through tough times of the COVID-19 pandemic. Many of us have personal experiences of different uh, struggles that we are going through or our friends are going through. The one solution that is proposed by governments and health experts is to stay home and avoid travel. That seems to be the best solution to avoid this pandemic situation. This accentuates how important it is, first of all, to have a home. And secondly, how important it is to be able to stay home. We are gathered together today on behalf of the migrant youths who unfortunately do not have the luxury of staying home. This happens for various reasons of which we are all familiar. Even when one has risked all and moved out of home and village and moved out to new terrains in search of jobs, every uncertainty, big ones like this pandemic or small ones like a strike or bump puts them in greater danger than most other sections of the population. Falling ill can be devastating to migrant youths who have no support systems around them in their place of work. In this sense, the pandemic has revealed even more clearly the exposure to danger that every migrant youth faces. A question that the church through Pope Francis in Christus Vivit and our solution general chapters 27 and 28 asks us is how can we fail to think of all those young people affected by movements of migration and obviously we are trying to answer that question put by the pope and the congregation to us how can we fail to think of all those young people affected by movements of migration Responding to the call of the General Chapter 28 to focus on our Salesian commitment to the poorest and most deprived youth, and in response to the Rector Majors and the General Council's six-year plan, which focuses on giving greater attention to working for the most deprived sections of young people, the South Asia region has identified working with the migrants as a priority. After heard of what Father Ratna said, uh, then say I was with Father Ratna, who is leading these things in, in Jerusalem. Thank you. May St. Joseph, the worker whose feast we celebrate today, intercede for us and bless all our efforts on behalf of migrant youth. And we would like to now pray through the intercession of St. Joseph. Dear St. Joseph, guardian of the Holy Family, and patron of all workers. You were a migrant father who had to live in exile from your homeland, together with your wife and foster son. Help us to feel the pains and the needs of the young migrants of our region. Help us to reach out with help to make their lives better. Make us instruments of God in showing God's love to each of them. Present this our petition to our Heavenly Father, 
through the intercession of your holy family of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you very much. May I now uh, request our organizing team to let us know how we do the, the formality of the inauguration. Father okay. Biju, Father Aquinas takes over from here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Father Biju, for your inspiring, motivating, encouraging words and for your availability to launch this initiative of ours. And thanks, Austin and Father Aquinas, for that presentation to launch the number. May I invite Father Francis Bosco, Director Bosco, uh, Director Bosco Migrant Services, Chennai, and Executive Director All India, Don Bosco for Migrants for the concluding words. Father Bosco. Yes, sir. Uh, good evening, friends, Father Reginald and uh, Reginal and uh, all the friends gathered here this evening. It's a, a real wonderful moment for us to reach out to the thousands of migrants. It's a real uh, good work on this uh, precious day on the feast day of St. Joseph and also today uh, in uh, really uh, thanking all the unorganized workers and migrants. Uh, uh, to, I will thanking, I just like to also say some of the purpose of the uh, this uh, uh, helpline. Uh, this All India Helpline toll free number for the Don Bosco for migrants have some few main agendas for this uh, 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 Helpline. First is connectivity. Already it said to connect the source and the destined states of their children, of the families, especially from the movement, from the journey from there and getting back. Access to legal aid for the challenges and issues faced by the migrants. Collaborating with the destinated and source states government departments in advocating minimum wages, decent work and living conditions because all will be very bad. To listen to their grievances and provide redressals for migrants at the working site and habitation sites. To assist them information and support for admission of the migrants and their families, especially during these days, in the hospitals and also to procure whatever necessary medicines and other things, especially in the destinated areas, what they're facing. And also to provide awareness and preventive measures for COVID and migrant work sites and habitations for facing challenges during the ongoing lockdown periods. The, to stop child labor is very important, and the bonded labor watch, and illicit traffic, trafficking of the migrant children and the families, especially the girls. And the uh, uh, last one is ensure entitlements for the migrants, for example, Aadhaar, bank account, ration, ration cards, uh, some, uh, health cards, and uh, other things for their uh, living in the destination seats. Uh, I would like to place record for thanks to Father Reginal for also supporting and taking us one of the priority for the uh, six year term. And uh, you know, all of us, we know that we have already launched the, the migrant desk. Uh, we are going to start on the first May. Some have started already the first April. So we thank at this juncture. We also inaugurated the All India Helpline and has been continuing a seamless support for the migrant works in all our provinces, especially in the region. 
and also a sincere thanks to dbr forum for the tony for the aquinas for the ratna for making this helpline a reality we exhort all the migrant desk the fathers are here and the other people are here the you know well wishers are there to advertise and display this free number in prime places uh, bus stands railway stations and wherever the migrants people are staying to be benefited so this helpline reaches out to the thousands of migrants and unorganized laborers and families thanks to all let's journey with the migrants with the, together with the holy family under the leadership of st joseph thanks thanks to all thank you so much father bosco